welcome traders to this educational video of stock analysis we are currently looking at the monthly time frame of the stock tata steel and what we can see is the price is trading currently below the 50 month simple moving average which is clearly uh, showing you that the trend is not up in the monthly time frame one more thing which i can see which is very very important is that the price is trading almost near a strong trend line resistance and this uh, trend line resistance is holding on since pretty long i guess the first point which started was in the jan of 2018 so we should respect this trend line let's move on to a lower time frame which is the weekly chart in the weekly chart there are couple of points which seem to be extremely important once again i will draw the same trend line all right in this particular time frame it will be possibly even more clear you can see three points connecting and what is evident is that prices are facing difficulty closing above this particular trend line as along with this trend line this particular fibonacci resistance which is the 78.6 percent fibonacci resistance is providing some sort of resistance to the stock and uh, this particular candle of last week is a high wave candle normally high wave candles are not very very made often they are very rare candles generally speaking high wave candles made at a very important resistance or a support are a sign that the stock is overstretched in that particular direction if you can see over here in march uh, 2020 i guess we can see a high wave candle and from there we have seen a big reversal what i'm trying to say over here is that we are not expecting a very big reversal on the downside but yes there are clear signs evident that the stock is losing its momentum in the short term we should not forget that let's move on to the daily time frame all right in the daily time frame things are even more clear if i use this fibonacci extension you can see that the stock is facing some sort of difficulty to surpass this resistance as it is uh, facing resistance from a fibonacci 1.2.618 uh, uh, extension one more thing which i can see is a trend uh, RSI negative divergence as prices are going up and the RSI is coming down. So what I'm trying to say by analyzing this entire uh, daily time frame weekly and the monthly time frame is that I'm not expecting a very big correction in this particular stock. But if you see properly that the trend in this particular stock started very early somewhere around 300 or 320 and from there the stock has rallied till 430. For a positional trader, this is a very good profit and you know, trying to be greedy in the market is not a very good quality of a trader. So as per my analysis, I'm not expecting a very big correction. Once again, I, I would like to mention this. Max, I would say that uh, if we manage to close below this particular level, which is 410, uh, and we sustain below it then we could expect 380 so this is not a sell side view or something but if someone is holding long position then as a trader it seems very very evident that booking profits at this particular level and staying away from this particular stock for time being for a positional trader seems a better uh, choice right now right that's it from my side in my next video i'll try to share something even more interesting till then Straight away.